welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you me doing a playing preschool lesson with my two toddlers. I'm really excited about today's video because I am collabing with Christy from These Little Sprouts uh, while we both show you guys us doing a lesson from playing preschool. Christy, she actually is going to be doing playing preschool year two, and I'm going to be doing playing preschool year one. So hopefully this video today will kind of give you a good look inside of playing preschool, uh, what it entails, and how really simple this preschool curriculum is. Honestly, you guys, I really can't believe not too many people have been talking about playing preschool because it is a literature-based curriculum. Um, it's really open and go. The activities are simple. I have two very busy toddlers, as you are going to see in today's video. And if I can wrangle my two toddlers and do some fun activities with them, them, you guys can also do the same. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around and show you guys the lesson that we're going to do today and then get right on into our playing preschool lesson. Okay, you guys, this is playing preschool, which is 190 days of at home learning. And this is created from the creator uh, from the busy toddlers. You guys, I originally heard about playing preschool from Christy from these little sprouts. You guys on Instagram, she kept on showing her son doing all these fun activities. And I was like, where is she finding all of these activities? Because at first I thought she was finding them. But then I found out that she was actually using playing preschool. And I immediately started doing some research and I knew that I was going to do this playing preschool with my daughter, especially uh, when my youngest one turned two. I knew it would be the perfect time for me to start this playing preschool. So you guys, playing preschool, it actually has um, 19 units. So it has apples, what's this? Apples, colors, nursery rhymes, clothing, food, five senses, teddy bears, things that go together, community helpers, transportation, on the farm, weather, eggs, plants, constructions, pets, opposites, fairy tales, and folk tales, and water. So each of these uh, lessons are designed for you to do them in two weeks. I'm going to be honest. I have it took me about a month to do the colors unit because I am not doing five days out the week. I do three days out the week for it. So it took me a little bit longer. So right now I am still in the colors unit of playing preschool. In the beginning, it pretty much just shows you like how and um, how you do the lessons and it just teaches you all about it. It shows you how you're gonna be making an alphabet portfolio uh, as you finish each unit. So um, it's really, really cool. I'm gonna show you guys right here. We actually did the letter R for the colors unit, which was really cool. So so my daughters they really had fun doing that and actually all of this art right here you guys except for the Valentine's Day one is art that they did from playing preschool and honestly I could not have come up with all these activities by myself so uh yeah so here let's go ahead and go into where we are at so this is where we are at right now. I am on the colors unit and I'm on Friday. Of course, like I said before, I'm not following it to the T. And one thing I love about this playing preschool is that you don't have to follow it to the T. You can kind of just do the days as you so choose. This playing preschool, you guys, it does include math in it as well uh, so that's really really good um, they do one-to-one -one correspondence you're going to be doing graphing measurements so it's really really cool how you are touching on so many things so with this colors unit, you guys, it was a whole lot of books that I had to go to my library and check out, uh, but I was able to get my hands on a lot of them. Some of the books from the colors unit, you guys, I had to uh, buy and purchase because my daughters, they love so much. But um, today's read aloud that I'm going to be doing is Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? And that's a book I already had. The opening is the morning calendar and routine. Hopefully that focuses. <laughs> the opening is the morning calendar and routine. And it pretty much just shows you um, in the beginning of the lesson how you're going to be going over the calendar, the days of the week. You do your song with each unit. And this song for this unit is a color song that I'm singing with the kids so they can uh, recognize and um, understand their colors. Then uh, for each of the stories, it has us like talking a lot about the book and it gives me talking prompts. Then it has this learning activity where it does the alphabetic or the alphabet review. I typically skip over this part because I do like my own type of alphabets with the kids. And my daughter, she actually is really, really good with her alphabet. She actually already knows her uppercase, her lowercase. 
So this activity wouldn't be challenging for her, but what I will do is like teach her her letter sounds or go over our letter sounds in replacement of this activity right here. Now, as far as the science experiment, this is the science experiment we're gonna be doing today. So it's a fairly simple uh, lesson for today and I'm very excited for us to go ahead and get on into our um, playing preschool. So this is like a really good look inside of how each of the day's activities are. I mean, they're not hard. And again, here goes the little, uh, rainbow are that we made and all the activities are really really simple and um yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get on into our lesson red, it's red yellow green and blue green and blue red yellow green and blue green and blue purple orange where's brown and black good job black. red yellow green and blue green and blue all right who's going to show me their colors first show me your colors Lana Sunday. show me your red. colors red good job what's next it's Monday. It's Tuesday. orange good job yellow. yellow what's next this week. good this job week. You ready to do days of the week? Days of the week, days of the week. Here you go, you ready? There's Sunday and there's Monday. It's Tuesday and it's Wednesday. It's Thursday and it's Friday. And then it's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Yay! Okay, what's next? Mm, can you me remember? You want to do the numbers next? Okay, let's do the numbers. Two. One, two, three. You guys, during this morning time, I also take advantage of teaching the girls their uh, months of the year. I also go over their alphabet and their letter sounds. I didn't want to show you guys all of that just for the timeliness of today's video, but during this time, I try to get as much as I can done with the girls, especially when I have their full attention. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Yeah, you feel like the month is February. Put February right here. It's February. It's green. Yeah, it is green, but it's February. Put February right here. It's right there. Good job. It is February. Good job. It's February, two, and the year is 2022. Put it right there. Good job. And the, and the date is the 22nd. So we're going to put two. And I think my last year goes two. It's the 22nd. So put the two right there. We need two twos for 22. Good job. Good job. Are you ready? Look. Yesterday was Sunday. Yesterday? Is it mommy? It's yeah. red. It is red. So yesterday was Sunday. It's red right there. Good job. Today is Monday. Red. Today's Monday. And tomorrow will be Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday right here. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Good job. Wow. All right, Lay. It's still winter time, okay? The season is winter. Put it right there, winter. Great job. Now, Leia, what is the weather outside? What's the weather outside? Is it sunny or is it rainy? Sunny. It is sunny. Good job. Put the sunny right here for the weather. What, mommy? Sunny. Yeah, it is sunny. Now, Leia, do you feel happy today or sad? How do you feel today? Happy. You feel happy? Okay, good job. You could put the happy face right there. All right. Yay, Leia, you did it. <laughs> you ready to read Brown Bear? Here, come sit in your chair. You got it? Yeah. All right, come on, Leia, let's read it. Mommy. Mom. Yes, yeah, sit down. Sit down. We're going to read it. You ready? Uh Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a 
Red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird. What do you see? What do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck. What do you see? I see a what's this, Leia? Blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse. What do you see? I see a what? Frog. Green frog looking at me. A teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? A blue horse, a green what? Cat. Green frog, what's this? Purple cat, what's this? Cat. White dog. Black. Black sheep. A goldfish and a what? Teacher. And a teacher looking at me. That's what we see. Good job, Luna. Yeah. What does it say? Brown bear. It is brown bear. We see a what? What's this one? A brown bear. A brown bear. What's this one? A bird. A red bird. What's this one? It's yellow duck. Yellow duck. What's this? It's a blue horse. Blue horse. What's this one? It's a green fox. It's a purple cat. Purple cat. It's a white dog. White it's, dog. It's a she a goldfish. And teacher. And a teacher. Yay! Good job, Leia. You did it. Brown brown bear, brown bear. What do you see? I see a brown bear looking at me. Brown bear, brown bear. What do you see? I see the red bird looking at me. Okay, you guys, we are downstairs right now. I am going to go ahead and set up the um, experiment that the girls are gonna be doing today. I have all of the tools that I need. They asked for us to have like a muffin tin, but I have this like extra egg carton from when we had eggs that I'm gonna use for the experiment. So pretty much all I'm going to be doing is adding different colors of the food dye inside of the egg cartons with baking soda, and then I'm gonna fill up these little squeezies right here with vinegar. So they're gonna be able to see like a little mini experiment with all the different colors. I have two squeegees for both of my girls so they won't fight. And um, yeah, you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and read right here my instructions on what I have to do. And hopefully I don't mess this up, but I don't think I really can. So uh, yeah, here we go. You guys, my favorite part about playing preschool is that it does not just focus on letters and numbers. It's really focusing on other aspects that you want your preschooler to know. We are learning nursery rhymes. We are learning life skills. It is really getting my kids in the kitchen. It's really allowing me to be messy with them, doing messy art. And I really love how playing preschool, it really incorporates life. It incorporates living books within its curriculum. Uh, I love how versatile it is because I can pick out and choose any books that I want. I can skip lessons and I can really customize playing preschool to fit my family and my family's needs. I just wanted to let you guys know that it is very chaotic doing playing preschool with my two toddlers, but I'm finding that it is so worth it. My oldest daughter, Leia, she does have a speech delay and I'm finding by reading these really good literature books Books with her especially the ones with a lot of rhyme and repetition has been increasing her speech and vocabulary and my younger one Alana she is just tagging along with us with this playing preschool so I definitely will give this curriculum you guys like a two thumbs up I'm really happy that I found it and I'm just happy that I have implemented it in our homeschool Well, we did. Don't touch it. Bye. Yeah, I see 
What, what color do you see, Leia? Do you see green? Where's green? Oh, don't touch it, Lana. Yeah. Yeah, Liz. What color do you see, girl? It's like colors. Oh. Oh. You, see, you see all the rainbow colors? Good job, Lay. Blush. Yeah, that does look like brown. You're absolutely right. You guys, that was such a cool experiment that I did, and it was so simple. Yeah, you see all the rainbow colors. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Like, you had fun? Did you have fun? Yeah, we did rainbow colors with the eggs. It's awesome. Uh oh, Lana. Yeah, so the girls, they really enjoyed that. That was really a simple experience. Okay, you guys, as you can see, playing preschool, it's really, really simple. It's a really, really fun curriculum. I'm so happy that I found it from Christy. Christy, again, thank you for making your initial video about playing preschool because I would have not known anything about this curriculum. And it is really perfect for my girls. It's really perfect for me. It really holds my hand <laughs> because I am still a new homeschooling mom this is my first time doing preschool at home and to really be honest I really didn't know where to start and I love how playing preschool just has the morning time laid out for me it has everything that I, I need to do what I need to say after I read the books and it's just really really beautifully laid out and I love that the busy toddler she came out with this playing preschool I am really really excited because I already know more than likely I'm going to go ahead and continue with playing preschool I want to do year two as well um, honestly I will say year two it's looking like it has more challenging things in it and it really could uh, dupe for like a kindergarten uh, program really because it really has like a lot of science and a lot of things that you still want your kids to know so um, I'm really excited about playing preschool you guys and I hope in today's video you were able to see me like do a lesson with the kids and even though it does get chaotic they're still having fun and they're still learning thank you Christy so much again for collabing with me on this video you guys please don't forget to go ahead and check out Christy's video because she is going to be showing you guys playing preschool year two so you guys thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next video. Bye!